Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So this past Monday, Monday Night Raw was in Ontario, California, and the Young Bucks, Cody, Brandy Rhodes, Hangman Page, and Marty Skrull all showed up outside and did what they were calling the Bullet Club Invasion. Now with that, Vince McMahon was very, very upset that this took place, and he ended up sending a cease and desist order to the Young Bucks personally, saying that they are no longer to use the too sweet hand gesture in the ring, outside the ring, on any kind of wrestling video, and on merchandise. The cease and desist also said that if they do continue to do this, there could be a penalty of upwards of $150,000. So some may say, okay, Young Bucks are going to stay quiet, they're just going to let it pass, and that's it. But that ain't the case, as the Bucks have not stayed quiet on Twitter. So yesterday, Nick Jackson tweeted the following, stating, My new hand gesture. He then went on to say, Hopefully, you guys can be original now. GTFO, you're the same marks who think that AJ, Carl, Gallows, and Finn throw it up. It's awesome. Matt Jackson then tweeted out, saying, we're going to be fine. Love y'all. The two then continued today on social media answering fan questions where Nick Jackson got the following questions stating, you may need a social media break while this is going on. And he responded, why? Because I'm telling the truth? Hell no. The same fan then said, oh no, I know you're right. I'm just saying more so as I feel a lot of hate is coming your way sort of thing. And Nick responded with a heart emoji saying, I'm very upset today. Another fan asked him, I touched on this topic a couple weeks ago, and the tweet was accompanied by a photo and some words showing Gallows and Anderson, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, and the Bucks all doing the too sweet symbol, but saying that it's ironic that the Bucks are the ones that have made it cool again, and that the WWE is mad about that, and they let their guys do it. And Nick Jackson would tweet with, exactly. They all did the suck it in NJPW as well, but Matt and I are the ones who get buried for being unoriginal. A fan on Twitter then said, can other members of the Bullet Club too sweet people or no? Where Matt Jackson were tweeted, as far as I know, this is only affecting my brother and I. Finally, another fan tweeted out, hey Matt, you should probably consider this. They don't actually own the hand gesture. NCU does, talking about North Carolina University. They see and D you without even owning it. Where Matt responded with, I know. Well, we all know it's not really about the hand. So it's like the WWE is mad that they made them look bad on Monday with that latest episode of Being the Elite because they went out there and all these fans were there saying, oh, we're here for the Bullet Club. And they're all wearing Bullet Club shirts to WWE's event. Then there was a fan that said, oh, I didn't pay for my ticket. They gave me my ticket for free. So that's really what this is all about. WWE is mad because that latest episode of Being the Elite made them look bad. And so now they're coming after the Young Bucks saying, hey, stop doing things. We'll find you. We'll send our lawyers after you. And it's really unfortunate. And I don't see the Young Bucks really getting quiet on this. They're just going to keep, you know, speaking the truth. In all honesty, if this were to go to court, I think the WWE would lose and the Young Bucks would win with the cease and desist being thrown out and the whole thing being thrown out. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below on all of this. Do you think that the WWE is right for this? And do you agree with me thinking if it does eventually go to court, which it could, it could not, could the WWE win? I don't think so. But that's going to do it for this edition of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. But that... But that's going to do it for this edition of Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.